Hello, hello, and welcome back. I know it's been a while since I shared a DIY uh, here or anywhere, but I just wanted to thank you for coming back. Today I'm going to share with you a quick DIY Easter floral, and you can get all of the supplies from your local Michaels. Uh, so let's get straight to it. Alrighty, so first off, you will need a pair of scissors and some snips, some wire snips. Um, you will also need a bag of these glitter or other type of foam Easter eggs. Foam because, well, you'll see what we're going to do with it. <laughs> and you will also need some assorted floral but before we get to that you'll need this white bucket you can find this at Michael's again you can also find those Easter eggs at Michael's you'll need some of this spring grass <coughs> and some daisies I chose these pretty uh, fuchsia pink, some other spring floral. I wanted a little dash of white in this floral arrangement, and then a mix of just other floral that you would like. This is actually a uh, floral that I got from one of the famous Michael's grab bags or grab boxes. A couple of years ago but um, you should be able to find similar floral at Michaels currently I know that when I go in there they still have the same types of floral as they do a couple years ago so um, you should be able to find this type of floral or whatever other small floral medium size and larger size that you decide to put in your arrangement so, without further ado, let, let's get started. Okay, first we are going to take the tags off of the floral. That's important because we don't want any janky tags, right? So, just a little quick snip or a quick pull in this case. I like to make sure to get all of the tag off. Um, nobody wants a little bit of label in their design, right? If there is a bit of room in between the tag, you can definitely use your scissors, but for these tags, they seem to be very easy to get off of just uh, peeling them off. Okay, so quickly take the tags off. <laughs> okay, 
we're also going to discard these little things right here. Of course, when I discard things like raffia, like that is, I am definitely also saving it for later. I also save extra stems for later to use in another design. set these scissors aside and now we're going to take the tags off of the remaining floral All right. So for these, I am just going to, I sort of bend them up to decide like how far do I want them in. I need a little bit of a longer stem. Okay, I think I like that. That might be an interesting to you method to decide, uh, you know, that's just how I decide how long I want the stem to be. And then I just cut, cut similar lengths. And with this one, instead of cutting it, we're going to bend it. That way we can use it again in another floral. Arrangement later. So we're just going to bend it and then set it inside. And use the bendable wire inside this to make it um, spread out a bit. Okay, I did not bring any foam as you'll see in the bottom. If you have floral foam, you will be able to make the arrangement permanent, but this is going to be a temporary arrangement and I want to be able to use these floral again. You can, of course, use floral foam and um, use a little bit of hot glue and make your arrangement permanent. But for this purpose today, I'm only making it temporary. So I am just placing them where I want them. And I'm just trying to get this stem in between the little grasses here, which helps it to secure just a little bit. Now, when you're gonna use a larger flower, you wanna use three flowers. That helps you create a focal point. And so those flowers should be evenly dispersed. And that's going to become your focal point. Now I wanna use these white floral but instead of just cutting the bouquet off, let me see. Let's spread this out first and see if I can't uh, just not cut them off. 
you're always going to want to push your uh, stem of a floral up towards the floral. That's one tip I have for you. Now, again, I'm bending that stem up, and that's to avoid cutting this piece. Keeps them all together. <laughs> okay. Now, I'm gonna actually cut it. Okay, now what you want to do is what you do to one side, you're going to want to do to the other. And right now this floral is somewhat acting as filler. I'm going to pivot here and actually uh, go cut this stuff at the bottom off because I am not liking the way it's shaping up. So, let me finish cutting this one stem because we will still use it. In the life of an artist, you are constantly changing what you want to do. Okay, so I think I'm going to take this stem right here. And then I'm just separating them at the base of this plant. I know you saw that fall off there. I'm gonna leave this plant, these pieces on. All right.
of the secrets that I find is if it doesn't work the first time, change it. And if you're still not happy with it, change it again. Um, part of creativity is just being able to pivot. Okay. So <clears throat> don't ever say that because it doesn't work the first time, it's not going to work. Uh, some of my best creations literally have been the ones where I've made a mistake and had to pivot. There we go. I quit back on track again. this to be a little longer. Yep, that works. All right, now I'm going to reserve these three to the side until I finish putting in these because that's going to help me decide where those last three need to go. And don't forget that what you do to one side, you're going to want to do to the other side. So since I've got that yellow piece of floral right there, I'm going to want to do that same thing to this side. Now I'm going to go ahead and put in some lavender. Don't be afraid to bend your stems. They are that way so that you can make your arrangements more lifelike. You do want to create interest at different levels. So that's why you see me put it under the foliage. That's very pretty. I think I'm going to start with these again.
Let's put a little bit of this lavender floral in the center. All right. Sometimes you'd see a little string of hot glue or something left from when the manufacturer of the artificial floral was, you know, in production. And it's okay to just pull that right off. actually think we don't need any more floral at this point. So I'm going to set these aside and just add the last two elements. And those are the two little sparkly Easter eggs that all I did was I put the foam um, Easter egg onto a leftover floral stem. So, just going to set them inside. All right, we are all done. We have created this beautiful floral arrangement. I'm going to go ahead and take a picture of it so that I can show you wh what uh, it looks like. Well, thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions or if there are future DIYs that you'd like to see, please, please let me know down below. Thank you so much again, and I hope that you join me for the next DIY. Have a great day, and I hope you enjoyed this Easter DIY. Bye-bye. <laughs>